Welcome back to the Source Garage. This is part two of the Ultimate Wheel Cleaner Experiment, real world testing. And please don't fast forward for just a second. Give me two minutes here. I'm gonna be doing kind of a conclusion at the start of the video to save you some time and explain what you're going to see in the rest of the video uh, to definitely save you time and make this whole thing more efficient. So real quickly, what I did in the first video was take 10 of these cleaners that had iron removers in them, did 10 sections on a wheel, and you saw that there really wasn't any difference uh, to those 10 different cleaners, right? So then the second part of the video and what I have on here is you'll see I took 40 other cleaners with two different wheels that were broken into 20 sections and I showed you how, or you will see how all of those work if you want to. Spoiler alert again, there's not really any difference that you could tell. I also did, and these are the things you're going to want to see, is showed uh, water just by itself cleaning a segment, and you can see how effective that is. And I also, as the last thing I did, took five of these cleaners ranging from just a basic APC and super degreaser to a concentrated wheel cleaner and did five sections on one wheel where I hit each section multiple times and tried to get it as clean as I could with each of the cleaners. And again, couldn't tell the difference between all the sections ranging from simple super degreaser APC to a dedicated wheel cleaner. So that's the conclusion kind of for this whole real world testing here is between all of these products, there really isn't much of a difference. So I wanted to save you the time of watching all the other video content of me testing all of these. Um, you don't really need to. It's just there is proof, hey, I actually did it. Now I would recommend you put, watch the water section and the very last section I did with the five sectioned wheel. And I'll have timestamps below in the description. I don't have labels for all these in the video of every time I did one of them. It's gonna take too long to edit. It's not worth it for me to do it. I've got other things to do, but it's just there's proof that I did it. Now also make sure you watch the very end of the video, the conclusion where I talk about all the other testing I'm going to be doing on all these other cleaners to really find out what differentiates them, the bottles, the sprayers, the cost, um, there's iron remover in them, the smell, uh, scent, you know, other, uh, the other things that would differentiate these beyond just their cleaning power. So I'm gonna have a whole series on that, so please watch the conclusion at the end. And one last thing, I'm doing a giveaway for a wheel stand on another YouTube video I posted on this channel and also on the auto detailing Reddit, so you can enter the giveaway there. I'll have links to that in the video. And I've added to the store, you can buy just this base stand, no toggle clamp, no casters for $200 now. And the casters and toggle clamps are add-ons for people who want just a base model. So thanks for listening to this quick rant at the beginning and I hope you enjoyed the video. And like and subscribe to the channel for more of this uh, scientific content and breakdown of everything auto detailing and garage related. Welcome back to the Source Garage. This is part two of the real world wheel cleaner testing. So if you watch part one where I had this, uh, a different wheel split up into 10 sections and I tested 10 different wheel cleaners that had iron removers in them. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description below here, but this is part two where now I've got uh, these 20 products here and I've got another 20 on the table next to me. Uh, so I got 40 more to test still and I've split up this wheel into 20 sections. And just a quick recap of exactly what I'm doing here. So to start with, going to spray down the wheel, get it all wet, rinse off any just light surface contaminants, and then go one section at a time, uh, spraying these into the taped off sections, which I have labeled. Uh, let them sit for 90 seconds after I do a bit of light agitation to work the wheel cleaners in, and then uh, do another agitation after they've sat, and then rinse them off and then see what's left there. And to avoid cross-contamination, I've been using plastic bags to set on either side uh, so that when I spray, I'm not getting the chemicals onto either or, or to other areas, uh, right? So I'm keeping it in one single channel. And then I have a wash bucket over here too that I'll be uh, rinsing off the uh, uh, brush that I'll be using to uh, agitate with. So I'm trying to avoid contamination as much as possible. And I got my blower here too to dry it off so you can have a look at it right after it's done. And after I go around the wheel with all 20, I'll do another rinse, a final dry, and then a really in-depth look uh, comparing all the different sections of the wheels. Now, before I start this, like I said, these wheel cleaners, I think a couple of these may have iron removers in them, but most of them don't. And this wheel is obviously heavily embedded with iron. So what I may end up doing, and I've saved a fourth wheel for this, is I may end up doing a test where I spray the entire wheel down with an iron remover first, and then 
uh, come back with these cleaners and try and clean up stuff. So I'm gonna give this a shot with these 20 on here, see what it looks like, and that's what I've saved that fourth wheel for if I need to come back and do that, or I may even do it on the next wheel. So I'm gonna zoom the camera in here and get started with rinsing this off, doing the initial uh, spray down, and then get right into the testing. And like on the other video in the description below here, I'll have links to the timestamps if you wanna see any of these cleaners specifically. I'll have them all listed out uh, and the timestamps when you can look at uh, what has actually happened. So get to it. So start out here, you need to do a full rinse of the wheel. So now I've got just the uh, middle section open here. Get my Griot's wheel cleaner. And we'll do some agitation in here. And you can see it already working, cleaning up a lot of uh, what's on the surface here. And we'll let that dwell. And I'll speed up the time obviously as I have for all the other segments here.
So I put a fresh tire on here and this section right here, I'm literally just going to hit with nothing but a brush and water. So this is a completely clean brush with nothing but water. So how effective is water? I mean, look at that. I mean, you can see how brown this is and how shined up this is with literally nothing but a brush and water. So I guess I got to kind of ask the question, what are all these wheel cleaners really doing so much? They may be better at carrying it away with a different uh, tool possibly and bringing things down, but literally just water and a brush with a, whatever kind of clear coat, I guess, could be left on here, cleaned up almost, I would say, the same amount as all these other cleaners I've been spraying here. So, still gonna go through and test all the others, but I uh, just wanted to show this as, look at the capability of what water's doing. All right, so what I'm gonna do for uh, this third wheel here is, uh, I'm gonna scrub everything with water, like I just showed you here. I'm gonna do everything with water and then take the same wheel, the wheel cleaners and go around and do everything. So first to start here, you're gonna see me spray everything with water inside the wheel and I'm gonna scrub it all down to try and remove as much of the base layer of uh, iron as I can here.
So now I've removed uh, a lot of iron from the entire face of the wheel with literally nothing but water and the brush here. And what I'm gonna do now, so I'm gonna blow it dry and then I'll go through and test my next uh, batch of 20 cleaners here and see if it uh, really makes much of a difference. All right, so I'm gonna go a little faster for this round here. I'm just gonna be spraying it, agitating it, wiping it off, because I really don't think there's gonna be uh, much of a difference here. I will still try and use my uh, bags here for a uh, cover between the different areas. But I'll uh, have to see here. So I got Optimum Power Clean. So that's a wrap. And like all, they all did, after washing them all off of water, like, they all look good. They, they need to be really, the tape needs to be removed. I really need to get to scrub where the brush is getting blocked by the tape. But the middle sections for the most part all look good. All right, I'm gonna have to back the camera off here and kind of have a discussion about this. So I'm grabbing the light here in the wheel. I'm gonna take you over to where I got the uh, other two wheels here. Back off the zoom a little bit. So these are the two other wheels it is. This one I did first. And you can look and see all the iron and whatnot. And this is a rear tire, not a, uh, a front. You can see the iron that's still left in here. And if we come to one of the front wheels, it looks pretty much the same. There's always iron up by the front here, not so much in the middle, and some pitting. And with this wheel here too, pretty much the same, seeing the same thing, where the inside's pretty clean, 
more iron buildup by the front here and along the edges of the tape. This one's a bit cleaner because I hit it twice, right? I hit it with the water and I went through and cleaned up as much of the top iron as I could and then I came through with the cleaners and everything's done a nice job. So let me, let me mount the camera here and kind of talk about this. All right, so after I've done all this testing, we have, I've used 50 different cleaners now on different segments of the wheel and really not seeing uh, what I would call a significant difference between them, or at least the way I'm testing right now is not showing a significant difference between them. Um, all the cleaners seem to be working in r relative the same fashion. They're all cleaning most of the iron off the top. I mean, you saw how effective even just water was and none of them are really standing out the way you would think they would when you come, when you would think of like the marketing and advertising, like, oh, how strong this is, how powerful, how great a job this does at cleaning. And so what I'm going to try and do here now to maybe try and give these more of a chance to stick out rather than using little segments. So I'm gonna take the tape off this wheel, the other two wheels, and I've got one wheel I haven't touched yet. And what I'm gonna do with the one wheel I haven't touched yet is I'm gonna split it into four different sections instead of the, like the 20 I've done here. And looking at just those four sections, we'll see if I can tell a difference. I'm gonna pick out four cleaners here and that way I'll give them more of a chance and I'll clean the whole wheel, maybe hit it with two or three passes instead of just one take and see if I can actually tell a difference in how they're performing. And then once I do that, um, I may come back and do all these wheels again, uh, not in all the 20 segments, just like maybe take one cleaner and finish up what's left, you know, with the striping of the tape and whatnot and see if I can uh, draw any kind of conclusion beyond what I have already, which is that there doesn't seem to be much of a difference between any of these from a just pure, does it clean the wheel when you put it on and scrub it standpoint, which I pretty much expected most of them to clean things effectively. They're all name brand wheel cleaners for the most part. So uh, I'm gonna grab the other wheel, I'm gonna tape it off, put it in here, and then I'll uh, pick out four cleaners to try out here. All right, so I've decided on splitting this wheel into five sections here, and I got five cleaners of different ranges. So the most basic thing I got, simple green, Something just grab off the shelf at any store, turtle wax wheel and tire cleaner, a little bit more advanced Adams wheel cleaner and PNS brake buster. And then lastly, uh, P21S, uh, this is their gel wheel cleaner. So between these five things, I'm gonna do five different sections I've got taped off here and I've got them labeled and I'm just gonna clean them thoroughly hit it two or three times with each of these cleaners and use my brush and see if I can actually find any kind of uh, actually noticeable difference between them here. So I'll uh, put on the music and uh, get to work here. So I'm just gonna slowly kind of scroll through here. And 
really there I can't tell any difference between these if you took the labels off and asked me did I use one cleaner or five different cleaners here I would have no way to tell they all have this pitting still uh, there's still some more iron up in the front here, especially anywhere I dull the light, you can see more of the light come th or more of the iron come through. So I really am just not seeing any difference between these cleaners at all in any capacity. All right, so to summarize everything I've seen here with all the testing that I've just done, really I have to say in conclusion that there's no real discernible difference from purely a cleaning perspective of all these different wheel cleaners I've tried. I mean, really the, the final test or conclusion you can see here with the five that I just did, uh, ranging from just an all-purpose cleaner to the more boutique type cleaners, um, and there's no difference that I can see. I mean, you saw how effective water was in a previous segment where it did a pretty good job of removing most of the contaminants on the top. I mean, not as effective as stuff with an iron remover and all the detergents, but it got 80% of the job done by itself, just water uh, and some good scrubbing. So what really has to separate all these other products apart then has to be all the other things that are not just the straight cleaning. And what I mean by that is obviously price, so how much product you get uh, for your dollar and how far does that go, how many wheels can you do with it. And things that affect that, right, are stuff like the foaming ability, does it spray and mist across the whole wheel, does it cling properly, does it come out in just a sludge, what's the workability of it, can you work it around the wheel in a timely manner before it's either dried up or uh, run off the surface you're trying to clean. Um, you have the iron remover capability, which really didn't come into play a whole lot today, even though there was a ton of iron on here. I got to hit the rest of these now again to get them truly properly cleaned up for my uh, project fee I'm doing here. But there's that other stuff that's going to determine the, the best product. And so I'm going to be breaking down all that still in a bunch of other tests I got. So I got Petri dishes where I'm going to be doing um, I have rust iron oxide just powder that I'll be putting in dishes with all these products to see which ones actually have the iron uh, removing uh, chemicals in them because some of them say on the MSDS, some of them I can't get a hold of, some of them smell, some of them don't. So I'm going to put all those through that test. I'm going to see how corrosive they are. So I'm going to put some just like zinc plated like nuts and bolts uh, and like washers and aluminum stuff into a petri dish and see with these chemicals, if I let them sit for an hour or a day, how much corrosion do they get? I'll be breaking down the cost of everything, be doing a, a spray and like a cling test to see how they actually come out of the bottles with what sprayers are provided and how far I could think you could get with them. Could you do 20 cars? Is it five cars? Uh, depending upon how the sprayer actually works. So you, you know what you're getting for your money that you're putting into all these cleaning products. Um, so yeah, I, I think I'm trying to do the most extensive wheel cleaner testing possible. The, the next test I'd like to do as far as real world kind of testing beyond what I've done here is how effective can these cleaners be with uh, like little to no agitation whatsoever. Uh, and that typically wouldn't be done right if you pull the wheels off. I'm talking like wheels are left on. Can I spray something on, let it sit for two minutes, pressure wash it off, and which thing would clean the most? And that's going to be kind of hard to do uh, because, right, products run, so I couldn't split up a wheel into 10 sections, spray 10 sections, let it sit. They're all going to run onto each other. So that may be a more long-term thing or have to come up with some other way to do a test like that. But that'd be the next level, right? What's the best product I can spray on? let it sit, spray it off, and it's cleaned as much as possible without even agitating. Although I still would think agitation is absolutely necessary for the best cleaning. So I think that's enough of a ramble for a conclusion to all this. So uh, if you liked all the content I've done here, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like, comment, tell me what I've done wrong, uh, what I could do different, what other tests you want to see done to this. I mean, I've got 50 products here. I'm not going to blow on the two vehicles I have. So I got uh, tons of time and energy and products to do more testing with. So if you followed along this whole time, uh, thanks for watching.